Okay, so one of the things we have left to do is to deliver that express mail to Mama, if you remember. And there's two ways you can go about doing that. One, you can deliver it yourself, but since we don't really know where she is, we're going to take the other approach, which is to get the postman to deliver it, of course. So, with very little time to spare... Oh, man, he's on his knees and trembling. He must be just so, like, torn about something here. Okay, don't take that out right now. Let's just talk to him first. Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written on the schedule. T to me, the delivery schedule, it is the highest priority. Oh, <laughs> Dude, you are so committed, I don't even believe it. You just amaze- Why is Link looking down? He, he must be, just be like so torn about this himself. Th this is a priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. And he's going to go off and deliver that. Do you believe- Oh my goodness. He goes behind the curtain and everything. And he's off to deliver the mail with, like, frickin' less than five hours remaining until the moon hits it, hits him, and destroys everything. Just wow. See, this is what I'm talking about. Character development up the wazoo. Up the wazoo. And I can't believe I just said wazoo twice. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't believe... I still have to, like, record, like... Well, I don't have to record, but I have to play through this side quest again. After, right after this. And then I'm probably going to go to bed. Okay, so where is he going to take the mail? Well, he knows exactly where it's going, so he's going to head right into the milk bar here. So obviously we're going to need our proof of me membership, even though the moon's going to crash like any second, so I guess it doesn't really matter if you remember or not. But apparently it still does to this guy. This other guy is completely committed to his job too. I mean, look, he's still... He can't see that, but he's still here too. All right, and talk to them. I have a delivery for you, Postmistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here. T -t -t Tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Didn't she see the sky? It's terrible. But, but... Oh my, well, what shall we do? It's from Cafe. Yeah. It's priority mail. I'm so happy to think something will come good will come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's an order. Understood. Oh, and he, he goes off and flees and everything. Jeez. You are crazy. Okay, what about these guys? What are they still doing? Welcome. <laughs> Have a drink when there's a few hours left to live. Let's speak to him. As you can see, all of our customers have taken refuge. It may be in my undoing, but my head is still bobbing, and I'm the sort of fellow who will say his business through thick and thin. And I continue standing here at the counter, hoping one of my favorite customers will appear. I wasn't wrong. See, you stopped in. Oh, dude. Oh, don't make me cry now. That's so sad. Alright, so let's go see what happened to the postman here. Oh, he's still here. He's running off, but looks like he slowed down. Maybe he has some words left for us? Let's see. I have decided to flee. It is an order from the postmaster. I am now free. I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore. So here, I'll let you have it. And we get the frickin' postman's hat. This dignified hat allows you to check the mail. You see to put it on. It might just suit you. You saved a troubled public servant. It was added to your notebook. And he goes prancing off right past the guard and everything. I think the guard actually says something different on the final day, so let's see. Wait just a moment. If you believe that the moon truly is falling, you best leave town immediately. Those who remain in town either don't believe the rumors or have just given up all hope. It pains my heart to see children still playing in the streets because they have no idea what's going on. Yeah, the bombers are actually still here. They're playing in the streets and everything. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so the only thing you can really do with that postman's hat, except fill up the final top corner up there, jeez, that's been bugging me for so long. Now it's all bright and red. And, yeah, you can, it'll make the link look kind of funny, but you can actually check this post box in particular. You are doing a great job, Kaching. Some other item then, other than a letter, has been deposited. Kaching, delayed Kaching again, and you get a piece of heart, the third piece towards a new heart container. Oh yeah, nice work, Kaching. Even the mailbox is just like praising the postman for his hard work and dedication. It's crazy. So, what do we have left to do now? But see the see if Cafe and Anju will finally be reunited. So we've been doing this all for, towards, and now we're finally gonna find out. So, let's look around for Anju. I'd imagine she'd be in the employees-only room. Let's find out. 
enter here, and the whole atmosphere just changes to like a blue, misty effect. And lo and behold, Anju is here. I've decided to wait for him. I've made my promise. I'm fine with this. I believe him. Wow. Just so freaking resolute. Just, this is... They need to put more things like this in games. They really do. Just like... My god, this really makes you feel for the characters and how committed they are to this whole thing. It's just like, they're willing to just sit here knowing that the moon is going to crash in like just a few hours. And she's just sitting on the bed waiting for him. Because she believes. Well, you know, we're just... We're not going to let her wait alone, obviously. We're just going to wait with her. So, let's just see if Cafe will finally come in the end. He's only got two more hours to come. And he's got to run all the way from Ikana, so... I don't know. And there's Anju's wedding dress, I guess. The moon's mask, I guess that's what that should be, because Cafe had the sun's mask and... All that. Man. Will she ever get a chance to use it? We don't even know. Come on, Cafe. We're believing in you. Oh, the room starts flashing, and ca Cafe enters! <gasps> This is so beautiful. I... I have met you before. What a familiar scent. Long, long ago. Yes, we were still young. We made a promise, didn't we? The masks of the sun and the moon. We were to exchange them on the day of the carnival of time. Anju, I'm sorry I was late. Welcome home. Let us exchange the promised masks. Doesn't that just pull at your heartstrings? Man, I just don't even know what to say anymore. No one can do this justice no matter what. We have exchanged our oaths and have become a couple. You are our witnesses. Please accept this mask. And we get the couple's mask. Which is the final mask in the game. It's filled with their love. Wow. Please take refuge. We are fine here. We shall greet the morning together. Oh my god. They are really just going to stay here. These two total lovers. And just, there's, like the moon is out there. They know it's coming. And they're just sitting here. They're going to die a happy couple. And I guess we can't really do much about that at this point. Well, we can. Because we actually freed all the four giants, so we could actually save them right now, but... Bomber man, take refuge. <laughs> Bomber man, take refuge. No, okay. But, yeah, that's just so... Just something so incredible about that. Whoa! Jeez, and there's... Look, like, look how close it is to them. They're in that building right there, and the moon is literally right on top of them. Amazing. You need to brush your freaking teeth, man. Half an hour until the apocalypse, which is really 30 seconds for us. How many people are still around here? Jeez. I don't even know, but the postman is happy and everything. We made so many people happy in the side quest. But what's the use of being happy if they have no world to live in? What's this guy still doing here? Dude, get out of here. Cowards, all of you. Not a one of you stayed. My apprentice will be disgusted with all of you. <laughs> I have a fine carnival without you. If you're gonna fall, then fall already. Dude! It's like five minutes away from falling and you're still freaking. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Well, there's, the, there's one minute, 13 seconds left, or one second, 13 milliseconds in real time. So, we're gonna have to reset time. So we can actually make a world for all these people t that we helped to be happy in. So, save and return to the dawn of the first day, as much as I hate to undo all this stuff that we've done for them. Yes. Yes, I will.